Hey guys, what's up? So, at the back of my Bronco, jacked up here, and what I want to check for is uh, um, my rear uh, e-brake. Make sure those things are activated. I mean, it's always an issue. It's I, I have a four-wheel disc conversion, and the calipers that they use in the four-wheel disc conversion are the Eldorado. Came off like a Cadillac in the early 80s, like late 70s Cadillac. And, but the e-brake is a kind of a nightmare to adjust. So I did buy a couple special tools for the, the adjustment, but um, yeah, because if the e-brake is not adjusted right, the piston, the whole back braking system doesn't work right. It's like totally out of alignment. Well, not alignment, but it doesn't actually grab the, the rotor enough. So uh, let me go and I'm gonna activate the uh, e-brake real quick and see if my tire spins. Okay, right now it's going. All right, so right now my e-brake should be active. It's, that was sort of like I did a video on that. See that right there? My e-brake is active right now. And this thing is basically not even, not even stopping this thing. So um, then I just noticed that my e-brake cable is rubbing against my tire just now. So maybe something's not working right. But yeah, I'm going up to the big rear this weekend and I, uh, I've been taking my white truck a lot, so work on the cabin, but yeah, look at the mark on the tire. <laughs> Surprised I didn't hear that. Well, that's not good at all. I'm gonna rub a hole in the freaking tire. Um, okay, um, yeah, there, there's the calipers. I'm gonna take the tires off so you can see them. It looks like they're both activated. I don't know if that one's pulling or not, but I'll check all this stuff. I'm glad I, I, I went ahead and looked at that because that would have sucked though to pull home the tire. Yeah, I wasn't actually even expecting to see that. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm basically not, I mean, I basically had no e brake. I mean, barely, not enough to stop the car. So, all right, I'll check this out. Hey guys, look at that tire damage. It's not too bad, but. I mean, that could definitely put a hole in the sidewall eventually. Um, so yeah, I was rubbing against this right here. So I'm going to zip tie it in, like higher, I guess. But right now, the uh, it's fully engaged right now inside the car. I mean, this thing should be totally locked up, and I can turn it with one hand. I mean, I'm holding a camera. I mean, this thing should not turn at all, you know? And this thing should be stuck. You know, because basically this is supposed to lock the tire up. So, um, all right, I'll show you the adjustment. It's, 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 it's hardly any documentation on the internet about this thing. It's there might be like one video, but this is a totally a headache caliper compared to like all the other. I've done hundreds of brake jobs, and uh, this is probably the weirdest set of rear calipers I've ever seen. With the uh, you know integrated thing there, you know the adjustment. You get to twist the piston. I'll show you that. And I'll show you the tool that I got too. It's kind of an expensive tool, it's like 30 bucks, 34 bucks. Uh, but I'll show you that. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this caliper off and uh, release the e brake and uh, see if I can get this thing adjusted. All right, guys, so I, I removed the cable and the spring here, but see how this thing goes up? When this thing is pulled forward, it's supposed to hook up this, it puts tension on, on the caliper and squeezes it like that, you know? Um, there's like a little threaded screw inside the, the piston. But it's supposed to... Like right now it's tight. I mean it's... I, I'm just wondering why the... I'm not putting enough tension. I mean that, that feels tight. I mean just... I mean not enough I mean, to probably stop the car but... I mean that's locked. So why is my thing not locking up? Because it seems like it's about that far. locked it on. Well, I think it's probably because I released the tension on that one. But yeah, these are definitely a chore to figure out. <laughs> um, okay. 
Hey guys, what's up? So, see that little tab on the, uh, the, uh, how's it called, the brake pad? It basically goes into one of these little notches right here on, on the piston. And that prevents the piston from spinning while the car is in operation like that. So what I need to do is move one of these tabs over. I'm thinking it's counterclockwise to bring it out a little bit more. But I'm not going to know until I mess with it. Um, and I might need to move the piston back. But the main thing is I want this thing to grab. Like as soon as I, as soon as I pull on the lever, I want this thing to grab the, grab the rotor. So um, uh, let me show you the tool I got here. Hopefully it'll fit. Um, hey guys, here's a tool. I'll put a link in where you can get it. It's a universal uh, brake piston reset. It's like 34 bucks over at O'Reilly. Probably can find it cheaper on Amazon. I'm thinking this will hopefully fit, and that's what it's for. I think this will expand enough to get in there, I hope. I should probably measure that before I open this thing up. I wonder if it says. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to play with this, see if I can get it to work. Alright, look how these things work. So, there's a half inch, I mean, I have to do that, three eighths inch sock on the back of it. And as I spin this, let me put this on the ground so you can see it there. As I spin this, see that? Here's the two pronger. Cool, huh? Not cheap though. All right, all right, guys. So I got the brake pad on there super, super tight, and that's actually kind of what I want. I'm probably gonna have to lose. I'm gonna probably have to wear out a little bit of this brake pad. So it's gonna be. I'm gonna heat these things up while this is wearing out and getting on there. But I really want this to be tight. So now that it locks up, I, I can't even move it when it locks up. Um, but yeah, I can hardly, I can't even really spit up my hand, but these things are, I'm almost pounding these on, if you can see that. Um, yeah, because I mean, I'd rather actually, lose a little, these are so hard to adjust that I, I'd rather actually lose a little bit of brake pad because it's such a headache. You'll see, if you ever, if you actually have these calipers, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty ingenious design, though. I mean, whoever thought of this is freaking genius. Um, you know, just the complexity. If you ever see it internally, it has like these, it's like a twist screw inside the piston. Um, okay, that feels pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, I want that to lock up like right away. Be right on there. But, okay, cool, cool. Alright guys, I'm going to grease it up, my uh, pins up with this stuff right here. Synthetic caliper grease. Uh, yeah, I do that every time I, uh, you know, do brake stuff. Lube up the pins and stuff. Alright. Alright guys, got this thing back together. So I'm going to do the other side, I'm not going to film that, but obviously it's just the same procedure as this side. Then I'll come back and do a test. But I can just tell automatically that their things are way tighter, but... I mean, this thing is tight even when it's in, it's not even engaged right now. So... Might as well drive this around the block a couple times. I'm probably gonna heat up this, these rotors pretty good uh, because I gotta wear out some of this material on the, on, the, on the brake pads here. So I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of material to make this work right, you know? Because I mean, dude, these things are like $15 each. Um, yeah, because I want this thing to engage right away. You know, like barely even moving, it's engaging. I can't, if it goes past, like, let's say like, I don't even know, like, like 25 degrees or whatever, you know? It's, it, you, you're no longer getting enough contact area to clamp onto these rotors. So these things have to engage like right, as soon as I can be like about two millimeters off this thing, it needs to engage. So, you know, like when the gap is two millimeters between this caliper part and that metal thing right there. So, all right, so I'm gonna do the other side and we'll uh, do a test here. All right, so, like I said, it's tight right now until I get driving all day. Some of that material wears off. But let me engage the this uh, brake. Yeah, this is actually a mod that I've done in the past. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, it kind of puts it at a weird angle. I mean, I guess I could move that over. But what I think I'm going to do is it's kind of a mess right now. I'm going to move this cup holder over here and uh, keep my big bear map here. <laughs> it's towels, but that's my sidewinder. And I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to move this cup holder and have an aftermarket e-brake thing because I just don't like that foot thing over there, man. I don't feel like I can get it. It just doesn't seem very stable to me, you know? So I guess I'd maybe rather have a hand one. I can just pull my right hand, right arm out, pull up. 
But uh, all right, go. Cool. Let me engage it, and I'll uh, come back.